Hey guys, it's Chris, and once again, we're working on the Amiga 1000. Last we left off, I don't know, I redid the keyboard, I did the switches. Um, like I told you, like you saw in the video, couldn't get them working, so I ordered three. Fella sent me six, because I didn't request key caps, I only needed the switches. So, I'm going to get the uh, multimeter out. Then we're going to test to see if these are even legit, if they work. I'll put them on continuity. And upon a key depression, you should hear the nice beep. Dead switch. Intermittent. All right, one, two, uh, three, four. Some of them are iffy, but good. Good enough for me. I went online and I uh, found some chips. They came in this big tub. These are 256K by one chips. I don't know how many I need, but I ordered 25 of them. Why? I don't know. They came in this nice anti-static bag, which I'll save, because I have a whole bunch of chips that I could use this tube for. True. All right. Now here we are, right on the same side I need to be. Remember I loosened the screws on the bottom, I actually removed them. So here's where we gotta be. And we gotta fill, what is it, 16 of these puppies? Whenever you're working with old stuff get yourself one of these guys a lot of people wear them on their wrist but because I like to have my body free and I'm in hillbilly mode most of the time with no no socks and pajamas on I uh, either ground this out to my oscilloscope ground or I just have this alligator clip on here and stick it to the metal of my table that grounds the old body out and uh, you don't have any worries I go in let's start checking for leg damage that's going to be a pain in the butt. Not really. They go in pretty easy. Now what I'm sticking them in is right here. We're just filling up this row. Oh, kickstart disc. Torpench 1.3. Now, supposedly on these spirit boards, they came with a battery backed up clock. Now, the clock chip is here in the corner, right? So I need to put a battery on it. But I don't know what pins to connect to, so I need to look into that. Put a little barrel battery. Not that I give a crap about a clock. But if it's a feature and it was available, why not? All right. So now we have our full two megs of RAM. So 1.5 is what you can get and 512K a chip. And just shy of two megs of RAM. Awesome, it did work. Okay, so we'll run Boeing Ball. I think it loads in the background. Or did I not click it? There we go. And then it runs behind. Oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, that's right. It takes for a second to load. What's that weird striping in the background for? How do I get back? Well, that's just, that's great. That doesn't do anything. 
So this is the old one. This is the Wilco Advanced Amiga Analyzer. I need to make a test kit. Your Fraser one. Hey, where'd you go? We'll just run this one. Run the test. 137 fast RAM, 367 chip, because I re-kicked my ROM. Bunch of little bites. But I'll let this one run for a minute while the 4000's doing its thing. Yeah, that's the chip. And the rest is nothing. Alright, end test, passed. Well, that's, that's good, I guess. So here we go for the third, fourth time. Hello. I'm on now. Still loading files that it doesn't show. Okay. Uh, did I load it? Okay. This is 1.5. Gonna do. Let's do keyboard. This is an Amiga 1000 keyboard, so it's not gonna have all the same stuff. A 9's. Okay, 9. I don't have the minus. My minus, my enter, dot, don't have a plus over here. Left, right, up, down, backspace, delete, help. So that works. And I don't have the bracket star and stuff. So, video, RGB. Uh, memory, this is what I want. So 2 megs total detected. 1.5 mega slow, 0 0.5 mega chip. Ugh. It is slow, I'll tell you that much. So we'll let this turd get to 2.1 and I'll be happy. So, it made it. It works. A uh, small little bit of 1.5 megs of RAM and 48 little 256k X1 chips. Yeah. That's a lot for a little bit of RAM. This mouse is just just horrid. Battery back to the clock. So it does pick up the 6242 detected, but no uh, no battery. So I have the battery clock, but no battery for the clock. There we go. Some failures. Yeah. <coughs> it's fine. Expected 16, got 16. Expected 4208. So it failed. Yeah, I don't think so. 18 and 19 IRQs during 100 VBLs. Don't think so. I sound weird. Oh my god, this keyboard is just hard. Like I am inside I can. Hello, I am Louie Child, and today we will bake a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. Very simple demo of the Amiga 1000s multitasking capabilities and boy does it just suck the power right out of everything but I guess in 1985 you know we got our RAM in and we got the uh, Spirit 1.5 Insider Insider uh. the 256k on the front the 256k of the boards daughter board thingy uh, we did the Spirit redo of the Spirit 4 wires so that's why that was done. The other two wires of the yellow are the power and the input for the Spirit board itself. Other than that, it's self-contained. It runs nice and cool. The 68000 is not even like skin temperature warm. It's like nothing. 95.3 degrees Fahrenheit, 34 degrees Celsius. That's all I got for now. So we're going to put this back together, put it on the shelf with the other guys right over here. So stay tuned for more updates, and thank you guys for watching, and as always, I hope you learned something.